Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome back to Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Now you join me over here, not in the like the, the, the main part of the TD Empire because I have been grinding some levels. There should be some skeleton bones in here that we can shoot or attack or you know what I mean, kill for their beautiful, ow, juicy experience. Why would you hit me like that, huh? Why would you hit me like that? And I've run out of sword yet again. This is like, oh my god, this is like, like the third sword I've used in the last 10 minutes. But I'm so close to level 30 and I'm just so, so lazy that I don't want to stay here forever. Because of course we've got an episode to record. We've got stuff to build. Last time we built a really cool railway and I don't want to just stand here and not use the railway, do I? We need to build the outside station today. And I also really want to build that diamond sword so desperately, but I need one and a half new levels. It's it's hardly anything, but when you get to like these levels, it takes ages to be able to get to a new level. So let me just check what kind of time it is, because we could head back and on the way, like start destroying some um, lives of zombies and stuff. Um, a dog came with me. I think this is Casper right here. So he um kind of followed me for no reason. He was sitting down and then decided he didn't want to sit down anymore and just came and followed me for no reason. But I guess that's okay. We can take Casper with us as long as he stays um all survived and stuff. So let's just try down this skeleton because thinking about it I don't really want um, Casper to get hurt at night so what we're gonna do is run back to the TD Empire and slay anything we find on the way so oh gosh I've fallen down I've fallen down Casper we need to get out of here buddy the creepity creeps are gonna come soon uh, yeah get up I can hear a zombie already I think I can hear a zombie already. But anyway, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go through our little secret tunnel and then go out of here. It would have been really good to get like a double dungeon because then it will make the process so much quicker. It would be like double the efficiency, I think. So that's really cool. And what we also need to do is sort out a bit more of a rail system. That's a chicken. We don't really... Do we get experience for killing chickens? I don't know why I don't know that. But um, stuff's getting dark, so we don't want to kind of attack too much stuff otherwise Casper might get hurt oh no I've fallen down I've fallen down let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going let's get out of here let's get out of here and there's a TD Empire in the distance there's like a tree that's just half a tree which is a little bit random too but we'll sort that out later on we just need to knock out the wood that's below it or inside it you know what I mean but let's get back home let's sleep and take out this spider actually get out of here I can only see his um I'll oh, be careful, Casper. Casper, I know you're going to attack him. Are you not going to attack him, Casper? Where is Casper? Casper? Oh, there you are. You didn't help me whatsoever, Casper. Come on, come through here. We need to get home before the nasties all come and spawn in here. And we won't be able to sleep yet again. So, oh, everyone's kind of congregated in the house, which is nice, I guess. So let's sleep. And then we need to sit Casper down because... He comes on our journey randomly somehow. I don't really don't know how he did that. But um, here's, uh, the, um, here's Oliver. Where did Casper go? Casper, why are you messing around right now? Where is he? Oh, there he is. You sit down here, buddy, and just chill out, okay? Oh, there's a skeleton bone up there. I don't think I'll get to it in time. I'm not sure. Come here. I need to kill you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't die from me. I'm sorry. And it's telling me what melons are. I know what melons are. I'm growing them. <laughs> so what I want to do today is finish off this railway station. Because I'll show you what we built last time. Just in case you didn't see it. Because it is pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. It is good, isn't it? it? Yeah? Yeah, I thought so. Right then, let's go over to the railway. I mean, it's got some kind of like floating bit on it, which is looking a bit awkward. Oh, Mika's here as well. For some reason, she likes to stay here. But when I leave her over on her throne, she just comes with me again another kind of um another pet that likes to follow me but here we go this is what we built last time where's the button gone i already know about minecarts i rode a minecart last episode what are you talking oh gosh oh god it's gone it's gone why is there a button? oh i know why the button's missing because um that creeper blew up like right near here so let's push this back and we need to go and oh we need to grab a button now i don't think we have one uh, because we need smooth stone for it. So we're going to have to... I can't believe we have to go and grab one of those. We might be able to use one of the furnaces in here to cook some stone. Let's have a look in the old cake bakery and see what's going down. Is there any coal in here? No coal, but we do have one. But we can just use like a piece of wood or something. Because it's just a piece of stone that we want to want to burn into a button so let's wait for that everything's looking good um no entry down there remember remember guys no entry down there we've got some foods in here i might take a couple of cookies because i'm running
running low on food. So um, let's go on to D4. And is that Casper again in the window? No, that's a random dog. He's he's peering in, thinking about... Don't think about stealing, because you know what happens to people who steal from here and make bases in the underground. They go to prison. They go to prison, just like Boris did. So you be very wary, little dog. Don't be doing anything hasty. We actually need to get rid of stuff, so let's uh, just throw that down and make a button. Let's make a button, and we should now... Oh. Oh, oh no, I'm throwing stuff. <laughs> I'm throwing stuff all over the place. Let me just grab this button and go and put it where it needs to be, which is around here. And then we can finally test it because right at the end of last episode, we have a creeper explosion right near here. And I was like, oh, typical. And then literally just one slab exploded. But it turns out, what was that noise? Was it just me walking in here? But anyway, it turns out the button exploded as well, which is kind of... It's okay. It's worth it. All right, let's go down here. And this is what happened last time. We built this, and we can go up and down. It needs clearing out. Oh, no, I didn't mean to press that. I was meant to get out. I was meant to get out. But anyway, that's fine. We can see how we can go up and down. Up, up and down. Why did that not work? It worked last episode. Come here. Come here. Let's try this again, shall we? It's just failing at one bit. Oh, it's just missing the mark. Ah, Oh, that's so annoying. We had it working last episode. That's even worse that we had it working last episode and now it's not working. Right, we're going to have to repair this. I can't remember how far we got up, though. We've got, I think, one spare rail. It might be this whole thing here. Um, I don't know how far we got up. We're going to have to count them. Um, do we need to count them? I'm not too sure. We might just need a... Oh, I don't know. Let's just go up here and then build the railway station and I'll fix this off camera because it worked last time. It worked up and down. I tested it and now it's just like, no, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that at all. all right, let's go and clear out some of this stuff that we've got because we have a ton of stuff. And when it gets to night time... Oh, I wasn't meant to sleep. Anyway, when it gets to the next night time, we won't sleep and um, try and slay some beasts so that we can get our 30 experience and make a great diamond sword. I'm really excited about doing that, to be honest. It's going to be sweet. So damn sweet, because we did find diamonds last time. So we got nine in total, which is cool. I really wish you could make, like, emerald tools and stuff, but unfortunately you can't. And this uh, valuables chest is getting very full. I don't think there's any more valuables in there. Maybe redstone torches... We might need, um, we're going to need some more wood. So let's grab fence, let's gates, and jungle. Oh, I don't really need jungle wood. Um, stairs will do fine. We might have to go and find some new stairs and stuff. But let's let's go and put these away. Not stairs, what I'm talking about. Trees. We need more trees and stuff. Let's put this over here. Just sort it all out. There we go, there we go, there we go. And that is uh, looking a little bit nicer. So we've got more jungle wood here. Did I put my oak wood back? Why did I do that? Where is it? It's, uh, yeah, here. I don't know why I did that. Put that away. And we need to go and... I guess we need to go and find some more... We need to make another... Oh, do we need to make another sword? We do need to make a shovel. So let's grab some iron. So, one... Mm, one, two. Yeah, we need. We should. We should really make another iron sword because we don't want to be using our diamond sword all the time. Because again, we can't. Um, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm I was going to make an axe actually, so I need more than that. So let's make. Was it an axe that I needed? Let's have a quick look in our um, in our weapons chest. Yeah, we definitely need an axe. It's kind of almost broke. It's on its last legs. So let's make one of those. And I'm sure we'll do with a a. a Oh, no, I, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm very indecisive today, but I'm going to make an iron sword as well, even though we are planning to make a diamond one in this episode, um, we, it will be nice to have an iron one as well, so let's just make, uh, this, and then we go and make iron sword, nice, nice, we've done it, so we'll just use the stone one for now, and then the rest should be fine, so do we need to grab any more trees now, I think we should, um, I'm kind of annoyed that Mika won't go back to her throne because that's I built that specially for her and now she's just not bothering with it. I don't know why that's the case. We need to grab some more wood quickly. So let's go and do that and I think I'll join you back at the railway station or on the way back to the railway station when I've done this. So I will see you in a second guys. Right then, guys, we are done. We got um, 64. It looks like exactly, I think, we got 64. And this is the way. So let's run back to here and start building the rest of the railway. So last time, what did I um, kind of leave it on? I think it was like half a roof, which is why there's those floating planks. 
What the... A spy... Come on. A, a real-life spider just walked up my mic cable over there. What are you doing? What's wrong with you, spider? Come on. Come on, don't do that. You're freaking me out and stuff. But let's... Oh, wait. We need to empty this, don't we? Oh, it's empty already. So they might have fixed the glitch where it doesn't keep refilling itself. So that's good. Um, no, it's kind of bad because we got a cheeky bit of wood out of that. But it's fine. Let's go um, where we should be going, which is around here. And I can't believe it didn't work this time. It completely showed me up. Completely. And I think we need some more food as well. So we're going to have to kind of... I really don't want to get rid of that cake unless we make a new one. It's going to be like the, the village cake, <laughs> I guess, or the marketplace cake. So this is where it ended last time, and I wanted to have um, fences going up the side, so I'm going to need some more sticks. And I'm going to need to make loads of wood for this. So let's make a couple more fences. Um, I hate, I always say this, but I hate how expensive fences are. Like, all the time. They're just loads of sticks, and you always need a lot of them as well. So let's put this, like, here, and we need some more. Of course we do. Of course we need some more. So let's put 666, six, six, and this, this. Ah, oh, man, so expensive. Right then, let's uh, put one here. And it is turning to night, so we will get our fight on in a bit. The only food we have to spare are cookies. So let's munch these cookies. Oh, they do not feel that much hunger whatsoever, do they? We're going to have to borrow something from the Great Cake Bakery. Or, we've got a couple of other stores that we can do as well to steal from. I mean borrow. I mean borrow. You know I mean borrow. So, we also need... I think we should build um, the bottom kind of like the house. So, we build the bottom out of um, cobblestone because it'll look better. And my placing of that was terrible. Did you see? It's all over the place. It's all over the place. But let's put it like this. And then we can have the next part up will be... Um, I guess we can put... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We could put, um, let's remove these. Let's put wood here and wood here, because then we can have uh, the window in the middle. And then it should look quite nice, hopefully. And then we can have the ticket office to the left here, which is going to have, like, a villager inside, which is going to be cool. So let's block this. Oh, we want to make that into, um, into cobble. So we're going to have, like, a kind of saves wood as well. We're going to have kind of, like, a trim of cobble similar to the house. So it's kind of in keeping with the style of the house as well. So we're going to put this... All the way across, actually. So we've got a big window here where we can um, oh, kind of open it out. So we could have like a gap and then a long window across here. And then this will be the ticket place. So we'll do that. And we need to... This is the platform, so I don't really want to make that cobble. But I probably want to... Maybe even... Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll leave it as it is. So we want to put some torches down, too. I have no... Do I have no torches? That is terrible. That is terrible, terrible planning. I don't have much, do I? I'm really unprepared for this, but it's starting to look good already. And now I need to kind of slay some guys because... Because um, I do. I, mean, I might put up down, upside down stairs there. That might be quite cool. Let's try that now while the nasties spawn in. So um, let's put... Uh, this here and this here. I've got some stairs on me so we can try this out. So let's put it upside down like uh, this. And this might look quite cool. The only thing is we'd have to use glass, um, like blocks of glass rather than uh, panes for this. But it could look quite you. Oh man. Could look quite unique. Chop this down. Come on. Let's, let's, let's not mess around stairs. Come on. Let's put it upside down. There we go. Nice. So that's sorted. Does that look cool? Does that look weird? I think it looks all right, to be honest. And we need, like, some flower pots outside. It's going to be, like, a bog-standard train station. What can we do to make it more colourful? We could add, like, some other stuff to it. Where is some stuff? All right, let's kill this guy. Just about see this guy. I don't know where my sound has gone. Oh, it's really quiet, actually. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we're so close to level 30. I can literally taste it, smell it, and almost touch it. Come on. We need to do it before we get um, more hungry, because otherwise we're going to just like... Oh, no. We're going to lose badly, aren't we? Uh, any more nasties? You know want to come out? Oh, I can see a spider's eyes. They're really bright in the Xbox version. The spider's eyes are just like really, really bright. Take this guy out. There we go. Get the experience from that. So close to 29. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, where else? There's a spider over here. Ugh. There we go. Nice. Take this guy out. Get out of here, you punk. Uh, yeah, 29. Beautiful. We're almost at level 30. Come on. 
Come on, is that a zombie standing in the distance? I think it is. These give... Uh, do they get the same experience, all of them? I can't really remember. But if we take those down... Oh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. We can do this. Just farm these mobs out here and we should be good. I think I can see... Is there something moving here? Nope. That's just my imagination. <laughs> right, let's keep going, keep going. Oh, we're running out of food so badly. I'm going to have to borrow a cake from the great cake baker. We're going to have to make another one. But remind me that I have to make another one. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble from, like, stealing from my own shop, I guess. So I don't want to do that. I did make them, to be fair, so don't even give me that. Don't, no, don't don't accuse me. Don't accuse me at all. I am no Boris, all right? I am no Boris. So let's nom this up. It's going to be... Oh, oh. Oh, that was tasty. That was beautiful. And now we need to go and fight some more mobs. Just remind me, I need to make a new one. Who is this? Ow, right in the face. Right in the face. Take him out. Take him right out. Get out of here, you bunk. There we go. Um, the skeletons actually give decent experience as well. Am I stuck in here? Come on. It's not professional. This is not a professional job today at all. And we've got half a building built. It's all... Oh, wow. It's all... Um, it's just all unplanned. All right, we've got some good, good things here. We can get a couple of kills. Here we go. And I, and this is a little bit more interesting than just standing near a, um, a dungeon, isn't it? Uh, than just waiting for them to flop down and stuff. I swear I heard a bat then, but I'm pretty sure the bats are not in this version of Minecraft. That'd be cool when they finally implement stuff like bats and, you know, stuff like that. Come at me, zombie. Come at me. I'm going to lure you to the land and chop you down. Come over here. Come over here. Yes, chop him down. Chop him down. Chop him down. You got lured, and now you are dead. Um, we're almost halfway to building this sword. Oh my goodness. Um, come on, come on, come on. More nasties, please. We need more nasties to spawn. And we might need to eat another cake. I don't really want to eat another cake. Oh, creepers are annoying because they're going to take forever. Oh, God. They're hissing. They're hissing. Come here. There we go. Nice. I don't know how much experience they give. That's quite good. A couple of spiders over here can do nicely. Oh, I don't want them to meet me in the water, though. Oh, God, he jumped straight on top of me. Oh, God, this is bad. This is bad. If I die and lose all my levels, I will not be happy. I will literally just um, put my sword down and give up being an adventurer, to be honest. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Come on. There we go. Nice. I think it's because I'm not using my um, iron sword, and now I can't regen health. Oh, man, this is bad. This is so bad. Um, I think we're going to have to go and make some bread. Uh, oh. I didn't realize that pool was there. It's like a little pond. It's kind of cute, actually. Let's go back, and if we see any nasties on the way, we can slay them. And we're so close to making that level 30 enchantment level. Uh, I would have been already here if it wasn't for dying in the nether so much. I literally died so many times. But let's go ahead and make some bread. Let's make a whole stack of it so we can go back out into the, the darkness. Is it down here? Where's all my wheat? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I didn't use all of that. No way. Where have I put my wheat? I am so confused. Where have I put the wheat? Look, th th there's literally there's two pieces of wheat in here. That's not right, is it? That's not right at all. Have I taken it somewhere? I think I might have taken it to the farming supplies. Oh, God, look, they're trying to get to Boris. Oh, Boris, come on. Let's um, let's try and save him for a little bit. He's kind of panicking. Oh, no, he's getting hit. No, you can't turn Boris into a zombie. No, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, we need this. Um, you cannot turn oh, Boris into a zombie. What do you think you're doing? Are you okay, sir? I don't know how much health he's going to have left. We need to really keep an eye on him. If that's going to happen, there's a skeleton over here. I cannot run any longer, and there's the potential that I will die. Go on, get him, snow golems. Get him. Get him! Yes! Look at that! Distraction methods are working perfectly. No! No! Please don't die! Oh gosh, this is bad. This is bad. How can I quickly regain health? By sleeping. I think that is going to be the best. That's the best shot. We need to sleep. We need to sleep. Get out of the firing line before we die. I ain't dying today. Not when I'm this close to 30 levels. Oh, jeez. Um, is there any other food we can eat then? I don't know where my wheat has gone. I'm pretty sure I've left it over there, haven't I? Let's quickly, I would say dash, but we can't, we can't run, um, <laughs> we're that hungry, I don't think I've ever been that hungry in a Minecraft episode before, uh, come on, slowly does it, slowly does it, is this the farming shop, yes, right then, oh, thank goodness, got five bread in here already, 
Nice, we did it. We did it, guys. I completely forgot that I moved that. When did I do that? <laughs> I can't even remember. But we did almost gather all our levels. So what we're going to do now is try and just finish a little bit more of the train station. And then we will be able to maybe finish it and then... Oh, I don't know which we're going to be able to do first. So I think we're going to have to choose between one or the other. We either go back and get more experience or we try and finish off the train station. I think I'm going to choose the train station. Especially because, you know, we only just started it. So let's do this, shall we? Let's make some stairs. Just over here. And continue this bit. I always hate placing upside down stairs. It always goes wrong, like you saw earlier. Oh, I think I've got a method here. That's if I like it. I might not even like it like this. Um, there we go. Oh, no, why did you switch? You you already chose you were going to be upside down, and then you changed. Why would you do such a thing? There we go. Pesky, pesky stairs. So, does that look weird, or does that look cool? I can't really... Um, I don't really know. Let's try making these stairs as well, actually. Uh, yeah, that looks all right. It kind of looks train-like, like two tracks going down. That looks kind of cool. I like that. Why is... Oh, it's a pickaxe. It's a pickaxe. I was like, why is that taking so long? There's no... There's no silver fish in wood. It's like a brand new mob or something. But there we go. It's kind of upside down. It will look better when there's windows, I hope. And let's go and get some windows uh, now. You know what? We can just take some sand from here and make them. Because we don't want to spend too long going in between place to place. And we can replace this sand later on anyway. So let's make a furnace. We've got some coal on us. So let's just make um, a simple furnace and put that down somewhere. We always need to have like a furnace and a crafting table near where we are because otherwise it's just not going to work, is it? So let's put in uh, seven will do. And hopefully that will look good. Otherwise, I've just wasted my time. But let's try and make the ticket office. So the ticket office is going to kind of come out. Like There's going to be a fence post here and that's the way that... The villager is not going to be able to get out, if that makes sense. So I need to place some upside down uh, wood here, which I might need help with. So let's just do... Oh gosh, that's a drop. That is a drop right there, isn't it? Let's just put that there. And we need to place an upside down stair. And an upside down stair. Does that work? I think that works. Let's make some more stairs. We always run out of stairs because they're so expensive. I'm always moaning about expensive stuff, but we need to just get... In reality, we really just need to make this a little bit more sustainable, don't we? We just need to add... I really, really want to add an iron farm. I know that is super hard to do, but I kind of want to do it because it's a challenge and it'll be really interesting and make things super speedy. So this is going to be the ticket office right here. This is kind of like where you, you know, you know what I'm saying. I think we should make a dispenser so that we can have um, a clone behind here and what he's going to do or he, what he will do is um, he'll, he'll like take your emerald and then or whatever you want to play with we're not going to make it an emerald a ticket because that's just ridiculous we're going to be riding this thing all the time when it when it works yeah when it works but um, we're going to press the button and get a ticket which would be cool so we need to finish this off and make sure that we can get that system in place I think that will be really cool by the end of it so let's put Move, move them, move them, and put some glass in here. Oh, that looks odd. I knew it would look bad. I knew it would look bad. Does that look bad? Does that look bad? I don't know, actually. I'm not too sure. I'll have to let you be the judge of it. I think panes would look definitely worse. What about if we made... Hmm, let's try these as full blocks, and then we can see how that looks. Let's try that. That looks good, actually. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. We actually came to a conclusion. Beautiful. I want to try it as stone as well, just to see if it gives a, a better contrast. No, the stone definitely looks weird. <laughs> I think we came to that conclusion pretty quickly. So there we go. And we're going to put just wood in the end of those. So let's do this and this. And there we go. The train station. I think I need to move the door back because we've made the other bits. So let's do that right now. Just save some time. Where did, the, where did that go? Where did that go? It went somewhere. I heard it pop. Just put that in there. And the door should go in here, which is good. And I want to back up out of it. And there we go. The front of the train station is actually looking pretty cool, to be honest. I need to just hack down those bits at the back. 
Um, otherwise, it's going to look weird. It's like oh, it's like one of them Western films where you have just like pop up houses because it looks full from the front, but when you go around the side, you literally you have nothing. So it's kind of kind of interesting, I guess. I think we want to make all of these um, stairs as well, so we're going to do that too. But we're going to where we want it to be windows. We're going to make uh, you know what I mean. We're going to make it so that there's solid wood on the top. Why do you keep doing this? Why? Come on. Be decisive, stairs. Be decisive. And again, and again with the indecisiveness. I think it's because I'm too low. Let's try this. There we go. Nice. So this is going well, actually. How do we make a dispenser? Let's have a look here. I mean, mechanisms. We want a dispenser. Why? Why on earth does it need a bow? And we have a bow. We just need one piece of redstone. I'm going to go grab that piece of redstone because we can make that right now. Uh, we also need sugarcane. There's sugarcane around here so we can make some paper tickets. And that will be really cool. So let's do that. Oh, this is good. I'm glad I came up with the idea of the dispenser because that's going to make it really unique and really cool as well. And I really need to have like a session or an episode. I haven't really decided yet whether I want which one I want to do. Whether I have like a whole episode where I just kind of make all the roads and stuff because we've got no paths. We've just got stuff all the way around and then there's just yeah stuff here and there with no connection i kind of connected it up with the hat and oh this reminds me this nether portal right here someone spotted in one of the episodes that a pig man came through the portal and then just he must have left straight away i didn't notice it in right in the corner of my view there was a flipping pig man that would have been terrible we had like a pig man invasion oh goodness that would have been interesting to say the least so we got our piece of redstone and i will keep a lookout for that because i don't think that gas can fit through because they're too big they're way too fat they've eaten way too much cake as have i and um they can't get through which is good because otherwise they just destroy the whole place which would be upsetting to say the least so um why are we here oh to make a dispenser i always forget these things but yeah stuff like zombie pig men I think that's it. Zombie pig men and stuff can go through as well. So you can push stuff through like pigs and um, stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's interesting. We could make like a nether pig and have someone watch over him. So we can use, we want to use the bow. Oh, we can't, we're going to have to use the fully made bow. I was going to say it would be best to use the bow, which has the least durability on it. But I don't think we're going to do that. So yeah, there we go. It works exactly like that. So we need um, one more. Oh god, we didn't need. We didn't need that. We didn't need one more stair. We need one more button. So we're gonna have to put this here. We've got a little workshop going on here, which is working quite nicely. So if we put the ticket machine here, and then it's not in the way of anything, then we can have. Yeah, that looks good because then it will kind of like dispense out, and we can make paper as well. Uh, where's the paper? How much does it take? Three. Oh, to make three as well. Let's make, yeah, 15 tickets. Actually, let's just make the whole load just in case we need, um, we have any visitors and they need more than one. Uh, let's go here. I think we could name them with an anvil as well, which would be super cool. It would actually be really cool. And now we can test out the ticket machine as well. So I don't think we're going to be able to finish. Oh, we got some, oh, we got experience for that. We've got any ores. Got no ores. We're so close to making that. So I think we're going to have to finish the railway next episode. I'm going to end out this episode in a second. But we did make this uh, ticket machine, which is good. So what can we have on the top? Um, I guess we're just going to have to have a piece of wood. Um, yeah, we're going to have to think about how we do this. No, it doesn't work like that. Because you can shift and right click in PC version. But today we're going to have to do it like that. And this is the ticket machine. I think if we put, can we put like a fence underneath so it actually looks like a machine as well? There we go. That looks cool. And I think we're going to be able to put the button on the top and then it will start to dispense tickets. So what one ticket, please, sir. And there we go. We've got our ticket to ride the railway. We can just dispense them back in here as well. Oh my goodness, that is cool. I think that's cool anyway. I might be overdoing it, but um, I do think it's cool. So we also need to decide where we want some windows. Let's put, let's start some here because it looks like it needs some. Let's put three there and then we can put uh, the normal wood over the top. And I think we're gonna have to end the episode here. We need to get a ticket master. 
we need a, a villager to come over here and be ticket master but it, it's not going to be able to do it yet because i'm gonna have to get him over here and then he's gonna have to be trained and you know all of that stuff so we'll do that next time oh my goodness why let's just finish this off go on do it for me do it for me. There we go. Nice. So this is looking good right now. It looks a little bit weird here because I haven't kind of finished out the corner ends. But it's looking pretty cool. We need to make some torches. And I just want to thank you for joining me in today's episode. We are so close to getting that big level 30 so we can make the diamond sword. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Today was very good. We got lots of building done. And the TD Empire is really coming along. It's getting its own kind of international train station so cool so thanks again for watching everyone if you did enjoy the episode then please do leave a like if you're excited for the next episode because we're gonna be making an enchanted level 30 diamond sword it's gonna be sweet so thanks again for watching if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me then please do subscribe for daily minecraft videos on both pc and xbox and i will see you all next time good bye